Hello, hello there, Mavs, and welcome to the update where we put the U in CME TV. And once again, the tent has magically appeared in the plaza. You never quite know when it's going to come up or when it gets put down. You just walk around campus one day and bam, there it is. Well, it's a nice shaded area at least. Oh yeah, definitely some nice cover from the blaring hot sun that we should be getting. It's getting warmer and it better stay that way. Well, it is Colorado, so... No, no, it's no, it's Colorado excuses. It's going to stay warm and Colorado is going to like it. Roll it. It's Maverick Days, a week-long celebration for CMU and the college's birthday. Our dear old school is 99, almost to that giant 100 milestone. So as our school is getting one year older, there will be an entire week's worth of events to celebrate. So without further ado, sit down, shut up, and get ready for your mind not only to be blown, but updated. On Monday, get ready for the once-in-a-lifetime viewing event, or... Okay, it's more like get ready for the once in 20 years event. The partial solar eclipse will be peaking at 12 p.m. on Monday. The Astronomy Club will be hosting a viewing event from 11 to 2 p.m. in which they will be taking live pictures of the eclipse to study the sun, have solar telescopes for people to look through, and they'll even have solar eclipse glasses for you to purchase. Though those come in a limited supply, so you better snatch those fast. To accompany you on this viewing, you may purchase a variety of sun-themed snacks to support the club. On Tuesday, get ready to put that pedal to the metal and spin for some scholarships. The event will be dedicated to raising funds for High Five of Math, that annual community giving campaign that gives back to the students. But enough about that, you're here to ride some bikes and spin away. From 12.15 to 12.45 p.m. in MC245, dress up in your best 2000s attire but space is limited for this event, so be sure to register before attending to secure your spot. The Tomlinson Library is having a cultural cafe from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. This time, there will be a focus on studying abroad. Various uh, study abroad students who have visited countries such as Australia, Germany, Japan, and many more will be speaking about their study abroad experiences. Some snacks from those countries will be served. The talk that's all in caps, will be having a weekly meeting in which they will be having a guest speaker talk about conflict. From 4 to 5 p.m. in Escalante 129, listen to a 40-minute lecture on the subject before the meeting ends with the debate bracket. What is a debate bracket? I can only assume that it means you go head-to-head -head in the tournament style of debating about conflict, I suppose. It's another MAPS Power Hour on Tuesday. Healthcare, the spotlight is on you. The networking extravaganza will be taking place from 5 to 7 p.m. in the Health Sciences Building, Room 165B. Prepare to connect with individuals shaping the healthcare industry. Explore partnerships, secure internships, and even get yourself an employment opportunity. This is not an event you want to miss, so get out there and network. Calling all CMU students. Yes, all Mavericks are being called, but don't worry, you aren't going to be pressured into a scam or anything like that since Wednesday is CMU's birthday. The campus is ending a chapter of being 98 years old and welcoming 99 with open arms. To celebrate, Alpine Mink will be having a cash booth. For as little as $1, you can get the chance to enter a booth filled with cash and try to catch as many dollar bills as you can. This week is also National Library Week. And Wednesday is National Library Outreach Day. From 11 to 1 p.m. in the Thomason Library, join our librarians for a few hours of tea, trivia, snacks, and stickers. On Thursday, to continue National Library Week, the library will be hosting Blind Date with a book. Open your hearts and get paired with the mysterious book that will hopefully take you on a wonderful journey, whether long or short term. The best part is that you get to keep the book after the event. So snag yourself a blind date from 10.30 to 1.30 p.m. On Thursday, pull up your leather boots and get ready for, e for an evening of fun. The rodeo team is hosting a rodeo roundup from 5 to 7.30 p.m. There will be games, activities, baby goats, and food trucks. A mechanical bull and a beer garden for those who are 21 and older as well. But that's not all. 
because there is also there will also be a steer stroll demonstration in which livestock will be moved across campus. Learn uh, learn important basic life support skills on Thursday from 5:30 to 6:15 p.m. Join the basic life support club. Yes, that's a club. I had no idea a club like that existed, but here we are. Join them as they teach you how to perform such skills as CPR. On Friday, from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the TLC, watch a film screening of Docked. The film follows a group of sheep herders who work in Colorado and Wyoming. The sheep herders are brought in from third world countries to work, and the film explores whether that fact is enough justification to deny these sheep herders basic human rights. Following the film screening, there will be a Q&A section with the producer and director of the film, Sarah Sippers, and human rights activist Tom Acker and Ignacio Alverdeado. On Friday, going into Saturday, join the rodeo team for their Maverick Stampede Rodeo. From 7 to 10 p.m. in the Mesa County Fairgrounds, get ready for nights filled with hooting and hollering as you support the CME Rodeo program. Watch steers being roped, bulls riding, and so much more. By chance, Mavs, have you noticed anything different? Something a little bit updated? Well, here we got a brand new cut of paint here on the update, and it's looking quite snazzy if I do say so myself. And there's a lot more arrows. The tent is up in the plaza. The update is updated. Things are really starting to fall into place. Indeed they are. I'm especially enjoying our new theme music, but who knows what other exciting things we will see this semester. I suppose we will just have to wait and find out. Well, I am your lovely co-host, George. Be sure to keep an eye out for the various candidates for student body president campaigning this week. ASG elections are coming up fast. And with that, I'm your host, Brianna Sinclair. Until next week, keep it classy, Grand Junction. And, and stay, stay updated. updated.